Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. This is your Chelsea versus Manchester United preview. It's at Stamford Bridge, it's this Saturday the 22nd of October and it's a half past five kickoff. Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 2-0 win against Tottenham at Old Trafford. Revert back to what I said on my match reaction. Man United were very dominant against Tottenham. It was Man United's best performance of the season so far. The goals against Tottenham came from Fred. Fred's goal took a deflection off Ben Davis. So it was a bit fortuitous. But Fred enjoyed a very good game against Tottenham. You know, he could have had more than one goal. And Bruno Fernandes scored Manchester United's second goal. It was a right-footed, curled effort. Uh, Jadon Sancho got an assist in the game. Man United had a total of 28 shots. We registered 10 shots on target. Uh, we had 19 first-half attempts. As for Chelsea, they drew their last game against Brentford, 0-0. Not so long ago, they won away at Aston Villa, 2-0. Chelsea's manager is Graham Potter. Graham Potter has been the Chelsea manager for around a month. He got appointed in as the Chelsea manager last month month. When he got appointed in as the Chelsea manager, he signed a five-year contract. Graham Potter left Brighton earlier on this year. Before, Graham Potter has managed Swansea and Ostersunds. Before Graham Potter, Chelsea had Thomas Tuchel. To be honest with you, I thought Thomas Tuchel was a very good manager. You know, he won the Champions League when he was Chelsea manager and he got Chelsea to quite a few finals. But despite that, Chelsea still sacked him. Chelsea have sacked to hell of a lot of managers. Before Thomas Tuchel, they had Frank Lampard. Chelsea sacked him. Despite, obviously, Frank Lampard being a Chelsea legend. Before Frank Lampard, they had Maurizio Sarri. He only endured one season with Chelsea. In that season, he got Chelsea to the League Cup final and he won the Europa League at Chelsea. Before then, Chelsea had Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte won the Premier League in his first season as Chelsea manager. But despite that, Chelsea still ended up sacking him. Of course, Chelsea had Jose Mourinho. Uh, Chelsea sacked him. Jose Mourinho endured two spells with Chelsea. I thought Jose Mourinho was very good in his first spell with Chelsea because he won back-to-back -back Premier League titles. At one point, Chelsea had Di Matteo, um, they sacked him. They had Gus Hiddink, they sacked him. Uh, Scarari, they sacked him. At one point, they had Avram Grant, they sacked him. Uh, one point, they had Rafa Benitez as interim manager. Um, a long time ago, Chelsea had Vias Boas. And one point they had Carlo Ancelotti. Carlo Ancelotti won the double uh, when he was Chelsea manager. So they are a lot of the managers that Chelsea Football Club have had over the years. Chelsea's owner is Todd Bowley. 
Chelsea's ex-owner was Roman Abramovich, who of course is a billionaire. Now the players Chelsea have got, they've got the likes of Kai Havertz, he's very good. Chelsea got him from Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, Christian Pulisic, uh, Chelsea signed him from Borussia Dortmund. Um, they've got Amando Broger. Uh, Chelsea have Raheem Sterling. They signed him from Manchester City. Was it this year? Uh, Connor Gallagher, they've got him. Um, he's out with injury at the moment. Uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Uh, Chelsea have him. They got him from Barcelona. Before Aubameyang was at Arsenal, he was very good at Arsenal, and at one point he was at Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Mason Mount, he's a very good young player. Angolo Kante, he's a very good midfielder. He's one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. Um, obviously, Angolo Kante has won the Premier League at Chelsea. He also won it when he was at Leicester. Chelsea got Kante from Leicester. They paid around £32 million. Chelsea still have Jorginho. Uh, they got him from Napoli. Um, he's okay, but I don't highly rate him. Uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek. Chelsea have him. Uh, they've got Reese James, who's a right back. Um, he's out with injury at the moment. Uh, Caesar Aspilicueta is a defender. Uh, they have Thiago Silva, Hakim Ziyech, uh, Kaladu Kulabali. Uh, Chelsea signed him from Napoli. He's a very good centre half. Um, a long time ago, Manchester United were in for him. Uh, Chelsea, of course, signed Wesley Fofana from Leicester. Um, he's out with injury at the moment. Uh, ben Chewell, he's a left back. Chelsea signed him from Leicester. Uh, Chelsea have done very good business with Leicester because they've purchased quite a few players off them. You know, they got Ben Chewell off them, Angolo Kante off them. They did get Danny Drinkwater off them. So, yeah, um, they've got Mark Q. Corella, who they signed from Brighton. And um, the goalkeepers Chelsea have got, they've got Kepa, Arizabalega, Eduardo Mendy and Marcus Bettinelli. So they are a lot of the players that Chelsea do have. Let me put into the equation that they have let players go. Uh, don't forget Chelsea lost Antonio Rudiger, who I thought was a good centre-half when he was at Chelsea. Uh, they lost Batswayi. Uh, they let Marcus Alonso go on a free transfer to Barcelona. Uh, they loaned Callum Hudson a die out. So they are quite a few players that Chelsea have let go.
Manchester United drew with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge last season 1-1 and it was also 1-1 at Old Trafford. Uh, Man United have not got the best of records at Stamford Bridge. Uh, there was one point when we went like nine years without winning at Stamford Bridge. Well, let's be honest, Stamford Bridge was a fortress when Chelsea had Jose Mourinho. Uh, Man United have done transfer business with Chelsea before. Uh, don't forget, back in 2014, we got one matter off them. We got him for around 37.1 million. And back in 2017, we got Nemanja Matic off Chelsea. Matic was at Man United for around four years or so. Then obviously we let him go on a free transfer to Roma. By the way, Cristiano Ronaldo um, he's dropped from the Man United squad for Chelsea. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo stormed down the Old Trafford Tunnel before full-time against Tottenham. Um, Eric Tenag did mention that he will deal with Ronaldo storming down the tunnel. Well, earlier on today, Ronaldo arrived at the training ground for talks with Eric Ten Hag. Obviously, Ronaldo played no part against Tottenham. He played in the 0-0 draw against Newcastle. He had a controversial goal ruled out for offside. Don't forget, Ronaldo scored his 700th club goal in the 2-1 win against Everton at Goodison Park. Prior to that game against Everton, it said Ronaldo was unhappy with Eric Ten Hag's training sessions and style of play. And Ten Hag mentioned that Ronaldo is unhappy that he's not playing regularly. Well, Ronaldo can leave Manchester United in January. Eric Ten Hag will not stand in his way, but when Eric Ten Hag first took charge of Man United, um, he wanted Ronaldo to stay. Ronaldo's contract at the club expires next year. There is an option to extend for a further year. Ronaldo earns £480,000 a week. Man United re-signed him from Juventus last year, so he has been in his second spell at Man United. Um, Anthony Martial, now he's been out of injury. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be available for this game against Chelsea. Martial came off injured in the first half in the game against Everton. And Juan Bissaka, of course, has been out of injury. He won't get in the team anyway because Diego Delo is Manchester United's first choice right back. Uh, Brandon Williams has been out of injury for a while, but again... You know, doesn't get in the team. Uh, Varane, he's now back from injury, but he was injured not so long ago. Harry Maguire, of course, has been out with injury, but he wouldn't start anyway because he's no longer one of our first-choice centre-halves following the arrival of Lissandro Martinez. So there you go. And Van der Beek has been out with a knock. <clears throat> um, on another video, I will be giving you my predictions for this game. On another video, I'll be giving you my predicted 11 for the game. And I've also got to do a video to give you my play ratings from the 2-0 win against Tottenham. But, um... Eric Ten Hag, you know, he is a good manager. I think he's doing a pretty good job as Manchester United manager. You know, there has been games this season where I have given him a lot of credit because there's been games where I do like the way he's approached them. There has been games as well where he has got some decisions wrong. Eric Ten Hag obviously was pleased with the performance against Tottenham. You know, he said a few different things in recent weeks. 
But this is Eric Ten Hag's first full season as Man United manager. He does need time. Eric Ten Hag knew when he'd taken over at Man United that he had big expectations to exceed. His expectations this season will be to guide Man United to a top four finish. Maybe win a trophy as well because Man United have not won a domestic trophy since 2017. Eric Ten Hag, of course, replaced Rangnick earlier on this year. He's under contract with Man United until 2025. There's an option of an additional year. He's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Not so long ago, Eric Ten Hag got named Premier League Manager of the Month. Revert back to when Ten Hag was at Ajax, he did very well, didn't he? Because he won every device titles, he won Dutch Cups and revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals and he developed the young play as well. Uh, but since Ten Hag became Man United manager, he has made six signings. He brought Malassi in, Eriksen, Martinez, Casemiro, Anthony and Debravka. Man United have spent over £200 million this year. Um, he's also let players go as well as Ten Hag, but he is still inheriting Deadwood. Don't forget, Ten Hag was the one that recommended Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren to the club. They've been working alongside Eric Ten Hag. Um, obviously, we've got Benny McCarthy at the club, John Murtough, Richard Arnold. Earlier on this year, Sir Alex Ferguson came back to Man United in an advisory role. And the Glazers are still at Manchester United, unfortunately. We've got to get them out because they've been a massive problem at the club for a long time. And for a long time, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. Uh, the Glazers have owned the club since 2005. Uh, not so long ago, it said that the Glazers don't want to sell Man United again. Uh, they don't want to sell Man United, sorry. It said the Glazers had set a price to consider selling the club of £9 billion. It was Sir Jim Ratcliffe, by the way, that said that the Glazers don't want to sell Man United. Sir Jim Ratcliffe did admit that he would have bought Man United in the summer if the club had been up for sale. So there you go. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop me comments, likes, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.